Hello guys and girls, Bored now back with you for another horror movie review, my latest in the month of October 2019. I am doing as many reviews as I can this month, and this time it's going to be a shorter review, but it's going to be of a, a film called Curtain from 2015, and this is a very low budget Fright Fest produced film which I've got on DVD, second time I've seen it, I've just watched it again. And the plot is basically then, at the start of the film, we see a guy on the subway, he's, he's really sort of traumatised and, and freaked out, and he goes back to his apartment, and he's sort of trying to do something with his shower curtain basically and there's this something strange going on and then the next thing you know he's killed himself so then this this young woman Danny her name is played by Danny Smith she moves into that same apartment and she's she's a, an ex-nurse and there's a bit of a backstory there for why she quit being a nurse but she's just moved to New York City into this this guy's apartment and strange mysterious things start to happen and it involves the very same shower curtain and over time she learns that the shower curtain is like a portal like a gateway for for another dimension so all these demons start coming out of it and she gets sort of um, involved in the whole sort of plot involving that that portal so yeah it's a it's a crazy sort of portal shower curtain movie folks as it as if you if you if you if you were looking for one of those in your life so I, I guess this is it and Danny starts a job where you know it's for a charity for like a, a pro like save the whales charity so she starts canvassing on the streets to try and get people people to sign up and she meets this guy tim who she gradually sort of strikes up a bond with but he's kind of quite different from her at least the way he approaches the job he's he goes for more extreme sort of methods, like he actually shows people, you know, some of the the bloody results if they don't save, if they don't try and save the 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 whales. Whereas she's she does it typically. She says, you, you know, I've, I've I've been told to stick to stick to the scripts or sort of thing. I did find it, it quite funny that how this was actually a paid job because I thought most people who did that sort of thing were volunteers. I mean, I know for some people it can be a paid job, but certainly for people canvassing on the street just trying to get donations, I, I saw for it was normally just like a volunteer type thing, but... But anyway, whatever, that's that's her new role and her new job. And I, I guess it, it fits, you know, then, then, then she would go on from something like nursing sort of into this because it's something where it's, it's sort of a worthwhile type cause. But anyway, Tim, this, this guy she befriends, he ends up getting involved in the whole thing and you know, trying to figure out what, what exactly, is, exactly is going on with this portal and trying to save it. And that's the setup. And I think it's again one of these very low budget Fright Fest productions. And, you know, I mean, obviously it's, it's kind of a silly little setup and it, it is played as very tongue in cheek you know there's there's quite a lot of comedy i mean the stuff on the street with with them you know trying to get donations is it, pretty funny you know tim's sort of extreme methods 
and it certainly played up some of the more like supernatural scenes I think there is definitely a tongue-in-cheek element but I think the problem for me is just the fact that this really could have been an insane premise they really could have done something really fun with it and really gone for it it could have been a fun B style movie and they just never did did it it was just this really basic sort of like comedy horror if you like with not not many horror elements I mean obviously it is a horror but they never really go for the horror elements they never really you know there's, there's no real tension or atmosphere and and they don't have enough fun with the b-movie elements it's not it's never entertaining enough or crazy enough you know they just end it just ends up being a very middle of the road movie where well, you think when you hear the premise, you think, oh my god, this could be insane. They could really do some crazy shit. And they just don't do it. They just waste the premise. And at the same time, although although it's quite funny, it's, it's not really hilarious or anything. And again, the budget really shows. I think the acting's pretty bad overall. I thought the lead was quite good. I thought she, I think she does give it a bit of welly. I think she she kind of gets the tone of it. I think she feels like quite an ordinary girl, and you know, I think she's likable enough. Some of the conversations she has, like with her father, who she has kind of a, a tense relationship with, you know. You, there's a history between them, not a particularly good one. So I thought she was good in scenes like that. There's a scene where she meets, like, one of her... Or bumps into one of her ex-colleagues on the subway. And, and the colleague is, like, totally opposite. She's really bubbly and, oh, my God, you've got to come to, like, this whatever it is party this weekend... And you can see how awkward Danny is. So you can see what an outsider she kind of is. And in some ways, this sort of thing gives her omissions. So I thought the actress was, was, wasn't was too bad. And there's a little bit of charm with her and Tim. But in a way, Tim was just this kind of typical nerdy sort of character who they try and make you like and feels a, a little bit of a stereotype so there's some good comedy the lead wasn't too bad but it does look really cheap it it it, it looks too cheap unfortunately it didn't quite get the right balance the effect when you see when the portal is being open this like really spinning circle effect that that's just really cheap it doesn't really really do anything of course you're not meant to be taking it that seriously but it yeah it is a shame because i still wanted like an atmospheric sort of film a film which really had fun with itself really went for the premise instead of just being in the end it it just turned into a basic sort of mundane sort of you know quite tongue-in-cheek film which was okay to watch but it did suffer from being too low budget and they just never did enough with the story and I think most of the acting is weak, apart from the lead girl. And I guess the guy playing Tim wasn't too bad. But yeah, pretty forgettable stuff. But also pretty watchable, I guess. It's like only 71 minutes long. So you're probably not going to have a terrible time. But it is on the weaker side. It's You know, it could have been, as I said, a really fun B-movie. And it just doesn't live up to that. So I'm going to give Curtain 4 out of 10. It's not terrible. I mean, I could go lower. But the thing is, it is it's harmless. There's nothing offensively bad about it. And, you know, 
as I said, some good comedies and a, a decent lead. So I, I can't go too low, but 4 out of 10 seems about right to me. So that's Curtain. If you've seen the film, then let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I will be back with another horror movie review soon. Thanks for watching, and good night.